Welcome, welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we have to find the measure of angle ACD, this angle right here. And I'm going to show you first, uh, I'm going to show you two methods. First of all, I'm going to use the fact that the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180. And I'm going to find the measure of this angle. Because uh, let me see here, I'm going to have the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle ACB equals 180. That's what I meant when I said the sum of the interior angle of the triangle is 180. So that will give us 78 plus 62 plus the measure of angle ACB equals 180. Uh, now we can add uh, 78 and 62 and that will be 140 plus the measure of angle ACB equals 180. So basically now we're going to subtract 140 And we end up with the measure of angle ACB equals 40 degrees. So this angle here is going to be 40 degrees. And now if you take a look, angle ACB and angle ACD form a line. They are a linear pair. The measure of angle ACB plus the measure of angle ACD, the one we need to find out, equals 180, because they are a linear pair. Uh, and uh, ACB, the measure of angle ACB, it's 40 degrees. And for finding ACB, we're going to subtract 40 now. And we end up with the measure of angle ACD uh, equal 140 degrees. So this is the first method where we use the uh, we find the third angle in the triangle and then we notice those two angles are a linear pair. However, another method is about using this theorem that you see down here, the exterior angle theorem, which says the measure of each exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measure of its two remote interior angles. So what do we mean by that? We mean this statement in this case, the measure of angle ACD, the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the measure of the remote interior angle, so measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B. So in this case, we're going to plug those two values, uh, 62 and 78, and we end up with the same value like uh, in the previous method, 140 degree. As you notice, this method is a lot easier. So if you, you know, this theorem is very useful if you remember. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.